Hello, Gordon here, Golf 3 Papa X-Ray Tango. Another video, this one on Ham Radio Deluxe. How to connect it, where to find it. A second video will show you what it will do, and a third one will be turned on um, JT Alerts can to connect it to Ham Radio Deluxe. Why would I want Ham Radio Deluxe? Right. It's got a couple of advantages. It will do some data modes. There are other programs out there, but today Gordon will just deal with Ham Radio Deluxe. Presuming you have HF radio, presuming you have a computer, you need to connect your radio to your computer. You need a data lead from your radio to your computer. You need to take the audio and the microphone from your radio to your computer. You can do this from the mic insert and the earpiece, not the best way, via an isolation transformer and use the sound card in your computer. Or if your computer radio has a built-in sound card, you just use a USB and data lead to your computer. If you do not have a built-in sound card, then a company called a signal link to a sound card. You take the data link from your radio, they make all the necessary leads to the signal link and a USB lead from the signal link to the computer. Quite simple, quite straightforward. Once you have got that set up, that's uh, the main thing. Now, where do we get Ham Radio Deluxe? Well, I found that there is a free version still available out there. Under the call, Delta Juliet Zero Italy a Papa. Delta Juliet Zero Italy a Papa. Look for his call uh, on there and uh, select it. Find his main page. You won't find the Ham Radio Deluxe free under download. There are loads of other programs there. You need to go to his little search box and put in HRD and do a site search. You will then come up with a piece of program which says Ham Radio Site HRD Software. You select this and there is his Ham Radio Deluxe Software, the free version. The last free version that I can find on the internet. So you download this, Where? what do you look, what are you looking at? Okay, you're looking at a page that contains this when you start not the background information that's what we'll get once we've got it's connected you put in your radio your make of radio you put in the model number of your radio if you know what com port you're using you put in the com port if not select auto detect if you know the board rate of your radio put it in off the list if not select auto detect tick the box CTS RTS Tick always connect to the radio, tick digital master, tick logbook. Press connect, it will go through a sequence and connect to your radio. Make sure your radio is switched on and is not in a um, men menu mode or looking at a preset, a uh, what's name, just in standard VFO. It will go through and eventually if it finds your radio, you just get the screen. Screen will look something like this. It won't look exactly like this because these screens can be customized. You hit the button mark customized and you can change the color scheme uh, to any of these which are, are done here. You can change, let's go back to my screen. You can change the layout of how the screen lays and move these things around. You can change how the buttons are see over here and what is there. You can change what the faceplate looks like. You can change what the frequency display looks like uh, here. You can change what the meters do. That's these here. You can change what the sliders do or how they look. That's these sliders down the bottom here. You can change the way that they, they look. You can move these around. And you can change the tuning dials. All that can be customized. So once you've done that, you are set what does it do well you don't need to touch the radio again everything you wish to do like adjust the volume control adjust the power output 
your bandwidth, Fox, etc., etc., can be done from the relevant sliders that you've selected. Uh, band change can be done from the band buttons. You want to go to 17 meters, you go 17 meters. You want to go to 12, you go there. Just to click on the button and the band changes. You want to tune the radio, you can put the mouse over and you can go up in frequency. You can go down in frequency, so you can tune the radio. So, that gives you an idea of what uh, it will do. So, uh, what else uh, can we get out of Ham Radio Deluxe? Well, has a logbook. Basic logbook. You put in, get a square. You can put the call sign that you wish to talk, or you want to put in. You can type it in CQ. here. You can put in his for a report, his locator, his name, his country, and you can just type it in. Or, you might do a look across here, and there's a band map. Uh, been picked up from the um, cluster, and if we want to uh, work this particular station here, we just put the mouse over, double click, the call sign moves across to there. As I have QRZ look up automatic, there's his name, CQ. his country, and his Q and his QTH already filled in. Uh, it also looked at my logbook, and we haven't worked that particular station this year. If I had, then the last QSOs would be sitting in this box. So, uh, frequency has moved, the band has moved, USB, time, etc. You can set all of these here, tracking, options, and uh, tabs. So, it can be again customed to your liking. So, that gives you an idea of what the uh, there. If you've got a rotator, uh, you could even set the ham radio deluxe to turn your rotator and point the antenna at that particular station. Also looking at cluster, if I wanted to uh, work this particular station here off the cluster, I could just click on here and the frequency of my radio has moved straight to that particular station. So again, straight away. So that's part there. We'll make that at part two and we'll come back with a short while with part two.